This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a colorful looking circular animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super fun effect, looks very cool and you can use this technique in number of different ways to enhance your motion graphics project. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do. Let's keep it at 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this Fractal. Go into Effects and Preset and search for Fractal Noise. Double click to apply that up. Then let's search for an effect called Posturize. Let's double click to apply that effect. And then finally search for Directional Blur. And double click to apply this. So let's bring down the Posturize to level 2. And we can get some really interesting look using this effect. So I can increase this if I want to. But you know. You can create some really interesting effect using this. So I'm going to set this to 2 and let's set the directional blur to the direction to 90 and increase the blur length just like so. So I'm going to set this to around, um, let's go with 400. So we get something like this. And then I'm going to bring down the brightness to minus 6 so that we get more details into the lines that we have. And let's animate this so in order to do that i'm going to jump into transform and animate the offset turbulence so let's create a keyframe i'm going to go to five seconds and set this to around let's go with something like uh 8000 and now if i preview this we get something like this which looks pretty cool in itself let's also un unlink the uniform scaling bring down the scale height to 50 and let's increase the scale width to around 400. So you get a pretty intense line. All right, let's select the layer, select the rectangle tool. And from the center, I'm going to click and then hold control to create a rectangle like so. So we get something like this, which looks pretty cool. Now, in order to add a cool look to this, select the layer, hit M, select the mask and select these two points and drag them holding shift like so. So we have a very interesting look. Now let's go to around two seconds, select the mask and create a keyframe on the mask path. Go back, select these two points and drag them holding shift like so. So we have an animation which looks like this. Pretty cool. Let's select the layer, hit control shift C to precompose it. I'm going to call this um, base line all right let's go into effects and preset let's search for polar coordinates double click to apply that up or you can just simply drag and drop it set this to rectangle to polar and set this to 100 percent so now we get a very interesting look as you can see pretty cool let's select this hit r and rotate it like so and then I'm going to hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit R and rotate it into the opposite direction like that. Go into effects and preset and search for tint effect so that we can add some color to this. Select the white color and let's add something like a dark pink color here. Hit Ctrl C and paste it on this one. Hit Ctrl V and set this one to a nice blue color. So you get a very interesting look. As you can see, pretty cool. And let's also add a simple animation of scale here. So I'm going to select both of these two layers, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go back and set this to around 
um 30 percent should be fine select these points you can hit f5 f9 to easy ease them going to keyframe assistant easy ease them go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point hold shift and drag them to the left so now we have something like this a really interesting animation as you can see pretty cool now let's um select these two composition hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this um colored circles you can of course call it whatever that you want but i think it looks um pretty good overall so let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this one hit r and uh, rotate it a little bit like so you know and hit s we can scale this down a little bit and let's hit r again let's let's keep it like so so now you can see they get merged with each other which looks pretty damn cool now you can keep it um, like this if you want to but you can also take this one step further by adding color to this so i'm gonna use u and saturation double click to actually drag and drop it right here and play around with the saturation a bit so i can go with something like a yellow and um, purple tint you can increase the saturation level and that is looking pretty damn cool so let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg for a background hit ok drag that below and let's create a new adjustment layer call this glow put this layer on the top then go into the project panel and hold shift and click on the small icon that you see right here so i'm going to click two times now it's going to switch to 32 bpc which is going to help us to achieve some really nice glows so let's select the glow layer go into effects and preset and search for glow double click to add the glow let's increase the glow radius and um, let's bring down the glow intensity to 0.5 so we get some very very nice glows as you can see pretty cool i think yep and uh, probably i will play around a bit with the saturation i want to keep it somewhere around maybe something like an orangish a bit yeah that looks much better you can basically create more duplicates so hit control d and maybe scale that down just like so and also rotate it basically like this and you know add some different colors all together to achieve a really interesting look so maybe something like a green or uh, something like this one this one looks good and we can scale this down or maybe scale this up i think so we get this really nice look and we can select all the layers and set the blending mode to screen obviously the glow is way too intense so i'm going to bring that down a bit 0.3 and increase the threshold like so so we get some very interesting looking colors i think i'm gonna scale this up and also bring down the opacity of this i don't want it to be that intense so this one is looking perfect you can you know create some really interesting look with this and finally in order to avoid any kind of color bendings i can add some noise to this so search for noise and um uh, there we go double click and let's add a noise of around three percent always make sure that whenever you're working with glows always work in 32 bits per channel that will help you to achieve some very very nice glows if i want i can maybe change this to normal because because i want more of those a red and blue color so that looks much better i think so i can just switch the order to see how it looks so i'm gonna put this on on the top i think yeah that is looking fine we can also switch to add i think that is looking much better put this to 0.5 all right so all together i think this effect turned out to be really cool you can use it in a number of different ways you can add maybe your own text for example i can select this let me type in something like um, life is a loop or something and um, for the font i'll use nexa 
let me next uh, book should be good bring that down and increase this like so and let's align this into the center so you can create some very interesting looking title animations as well using um, this effect now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind envato elements will help you save a lot of time effort money get unlimited downloads with envato elements and start creating today and one more cool thing that you can do is if i select all these four layers hit ctrl shift c call this 3d and we can make them into a 3d layer create a new camera really quick 50 millimeters hit ok create a new null object make it 3d and parent the camera to this null we can hit r and uh, rotate this so i'm gonna rotate it like so maybe something like this get a really interesting look out of this so let's um, select the camera or go into the camera options turn on the depth of field increase the aperture really high as well as the blur amount and then play around with the focus distance i can set this to somewhere around there and bring that up so you can come up with some really interesting look using uh, this particular technique i hope um, you guys enjoyed it so if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned all the links in the description below also make sure to check out the unlimited download section from the envato elements a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always Stay raw, stay creative, peace out.